Now, have you ever eaten cassava? Have you even heard of it? It can be used to make tapioca. Uh, it looks a bit like this behind me. Uh, the carbohydrate uh, crop is a major staple in the developing world. 800 million people depend on it as their primary food source. Cassava crops, though, in East Africa are being decimated by two viruses transmitted by the white fly. There is hope, though, for the first time. Researchers are working with farmers in Uganda and Tanzania to track the disease uh, using a portable DNA sequencer. We've just shown uh, uh, the farmer the symptoms in the field and we were able to collect some samples that we are going to work on in the lab. We are here in Tanzania bringing nanopore technology to farmers. We had heard about this technology being used for Ebola, sequencing and tracking and evolution and Zika. And so we decided that we should bring this to farmers in East Africa, which means that they'll be able to intervene with the viruses and eventually have more food. It's empowerment of people. Having the technology in a country means that you don't have to rely on anybody else. You can just do it yourself. We did the lab work, we did the data analysis, and we're back at the farm all within 48 hours. And it is a massive, massive victory. Well, we saw uh, two of the people alongside me now in that uh, piece there. How does it work? Uh, the virologist, Dr. Joseph Nguru, and uh, the scientist, Dr. Laura Boykin, from the University of Western Australia. Welcome to you both. Um, Joseph, I can start with you. Is it really the speed uh, and the ease with which this can be diagnosed which makes this such a special breakthrough? Yeah. Um, first of all, over 300 million people in Africa depend on cassava as the source of their daily calories. But unfortunately, productivity of cassava is compromised by two viral diseases. For us to sustainably manage these viruses, we needed to have in place diagnostic tools that can efficiently, rapidly, and low cost detect these viruses. Okay, well, so just explain yeah. that. So, so, do you want to hold this for me and just uh, tell me how this, how this, how this works? Then? Yeah, so in the past, we used to have diagnostic tools that were uh, time consuming. Let me just, just see if we can just pick this up here and hold, yeah, it, so, hold it there. Okay. Yeah, time consuming. So now we have this portable DNA sequencer that can efficiently detect viruses within 20 minutes you know what is in those in that sample. So pre previously yeah. this would have taken this would have taken days would it? Yes because this involved sending samples abroad to detect for viruses okay. so we, it would take maybe three months to get results but now within 20 minutes you have it. So Laura I know, I know you've been working on this with Joseph for mm. many many years so does this mean that people can detect very quickly that they've got a problem and does that mean then eradicating the crops? Just tell us what the next, the next part of this is. Yeah, so for example, we went in Tanzania and visited Asha, a farmer who was getting one ton per hectare. And within 48 hours, we were back at her farm telling her, you have these viruses and here's the intervention strategy. So she can immediately start to lift herself out of poverty and have more money for for really important things. But, but does that mean though eradicating contaminated uh, crops mm -hmm. and then re replanting? I mean, is that the idea? Yep. Yeah, so getting rid of infected material and giving her um, virus free planting material. Okay, and just on, on, on actually cassava itself, I, I don't think it was necessarily indigenous, was it? Or mm. uh, to, to Africa? Or certainly the cassava white was it, introduced from yeah. South America. And, and, and white fly, which is an African. Uh, mm. Insect. Yeah. What is? How does? How does that work? I mean, are they prolific in terms of disseminating uh, viruses and disease? The white fly. Yes, white fly transmits the viruses, and uh, in, in 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 the field. So this is number one. But secondly, the farmers themselves transmit the disease when mm. they plant infected planting material, mm. and both diseases have caused significant yield losses. Losses in, in uh, estimated at between two, uh, three to four million U US do billion US dollars annually okay. have been reported in, in Africa. And as I understand yeah. it, Laura, I mean, this isn't necessarily always a staple food. You ha might have some subsistence farmers relying on other foods, but cassava is the, is the final one to get them through perhaps the, you know, the, hung the hungry months. So, so it really is a, a, a really significant development as far as they're concerned, because without this, they would go hungry. Yeah, that's true. So cassava, for many communities, it's the only food that's there. 
So it's really important to try to save cassava with all the technology that we can and really try to help um, use the technology on other crops, as you mentioned, like sweet potato and beans and things like that. So we just yeah. did a pilot study with cassava to prove that we could do it okay. in Tanzania and Uganda. So, so when's it all going to be rolled out or is it, is it already happening? Uh, we started in Uganda and Tanzania. So next step is to roll out this technology to all major cassava growing areas. I'm talking countries like Kenya, Rwanda, Malawi, Zambia, and Mozambique, and also other countries in West Africa. And could it lead to the development of any, I don't know, sort of, um, parasitic or any sort of chemical to be used in this process? Um, in terms of chemicals, I think that we're trying to avoid that um, particularly for white flies because they become insecticide resistant very quickly. So we're coming up, we're using the technology to, to make sure we get virus free material to farmers right. as a solution. Okay, well look, uh, best of luck uh, with it. Uh, I certainly know much more about cassava and tapioca than I ever did before, but uh, many congratulations uh, on your development, uh, Laura and uh, Joseph. Uh, just a quick reminder of our main story. This